we are going to figure out the center of mass of a triangle with a constant volumetric mass density. We have, it looks like this. We have a triangle, it looks like this. We have side A, side B, we'll call by hypotenuse C just for completeness of sake. And we have, it has a thickness of T, which is this direction, and I'm not going to try to draw that here. Our goal is to figure out the X center of mass. Step one, write out the equation for the center of mass along the x direction. Sarah Jane Jones. Um, uh, 1 over mass total times the integral of r with respect to mass. Uh, I mean, what I'm going to put here instead of r is an x, simply because we're talking about in the x direction, r is the more general. So we're just going to put an x, but yes. So, the first step in solving this actually is to figure out the total mass. So what we're going to do is we'll come back to this, but first we're going to figure out the total mass. The total mass is equal to Mr. P. We're delving back into your brain. This is when we first, this is like your very first introduction to integrals if you uh, are in AP Calc right now. Basically, where we started. Travis? Is it the density times the volume? We are going to have to use the volumetric mass density, which equals mass divided by volume, and we're going to use that, but at first I need to just the, the basic equation for the mass here. Uh, this yeah. Integral of dm. It's just the integral of dm, right? The mass is just going to be equal to the integral of dm, and we need to work with this, which means we need dm somewhere. Where are we going to get dm? What is dm, Michael? Uh, the, uh, so right there. Right there. Help me try again. <laughs> what is dm? It's an important question. It's just, uh, small mass. Small mass. True. How small? Very small. Very small. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, Dare I say infinitesimally small? How many are there? A lot. <laughs> we need to take the triangle here and break it into an infinitely large number of infinitesimally small masses, dm. Class, what is the width of this little piece here? Dx. Notice it is located at a distance x from the um, origin here, and it has a height y and a thickness t. All right. Notice that dm has a shape of a rectangular box. Therefore, the volumetric mass density, which is equal to mass divided by volume, I'm going to specify here, this is the total mass divided by the total volume, is also equal to, Oh, you repeat the question? Sure. We have the volumetric mass density. It's equal to the total mass divided by the total volume, which is helpful. But we also know it is also equal to? Um, DL over XY. DM over what? XY. Uh, let's just put DV for now. We'll talk about what the DV is. So DM has a volume DV. So we know DM is equal to rho times DV. Let's talk about DV for a minute. What is the volume of DV? B. Look, um, A times B times DT. You're confusing the triangle with DM. They're two different things, right? So you've just given me variables that have to do with the triangle itself. We need variables that only have to do with the DM. So what is the volume of DV Miller? Y times DX. Length times width times height for this triangle. It has a width dx, has a height y, and a thickness t. Right? 
So let's just rearrange dv then is equal to y times t times dx. So then dm is equal to rho times y times t times dx. So we can substitute in our equation here the integral instead of dm, we have rho times y times t times dx. Oh, uh, let's, let's see here. The mass total then is equal to, what can we take out from underneath this integral doorstep? Um, rho, uh, rho uh, t, a. Y clearly changes as we get farther away, so that's going to be it. So y times dx. What are the uh, limits here? The limits for dx. Travis? Zero to a. Zero to a. Now, we have a small problem. We have the integral of y with respect to x. The integral of y with respect to x. Please solve our problem. Eric? Um, let's see. Well, you got two sides of a triangle. Do you have like a s smaller C or no? Or can you uh, decide? There, we don't really have a smaller C, I guess. Do you have a we theta? Should, we do have, we could, this, we could define this as theta if you'd like. Okay, can we do tan theta equals y over x? Tan theta equals oh. Opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent, that's equal to y over x. It's also equal to what, Eric? Um, B over A. B over A, right? We basically have similar triangles here. Therefore, Y is equal to B over A times X. You could also do this in terms of the slope of the line is rise over run, B over A times X plus the uh, Y intercept, which is equal to zero. Either way, it doesn't really matter to me. We have now the rho times T integral from zero to A of B over A times X dx. Uh, B over A are both constants. Let me just bring those out. So we have rho T B over A integral from 0 to A of x dx. So rho T B over A integral of x is x squared divided by 2. Limits are from 0 to A. We have then the mass total is equal to rho T B divided by A times the quantity a squared over 2, one of our a's cancels out. The mass total is equal to rho times t times b times a over 2. That looks mighty weird. Sure. That's the, I mean, I guess we'll just leave it. We don't have, we don't have numbers for b or a, so that's why it looks a little weird. Uh, so we have now the total mass. Coming back to the x center of mass, x center of mass then is going to be equal to 1 over the mass total integral from of uh, x dm. We can substitute in our total mass. So we have 2 divided by rho t b times a. Integral of, now what are we going to do with x dm, please? Zach. You're correct, except that we've already done something very helpful. So you just um, sub it for dm. Right, we've already figured out what dm equals, so we could substitute rho y t dx for that. So we have x times rho times the thickness times y times dx. Uh, again, we have x center of mass. Thickness cancels out, we can cancel that out. We can cancel out as well rho, the density. So we have 2 over BA integral of xy dx. We're basically doing the same thing. We have the x varies from 0 to A. The x center of mass is going to be equal to 2 over BA integral of, we can substitute for y. We have y is B over A times x dx. Therefore, let's see, we lose an A or a B and we keep an A squared. We have the X center of mass is equal to 2 over A squared integral of X squared dx 
still from 0 to a. We have 2 over a squared x cubed over 3 from 0 to a. 2 over 3 a cubed over a squared or 2 thirds of a.